Welcome to this quick demo video of Padavid Quantify. There will be a more in-depth video available for you to follow along step by step, and it, a link to it will be in the description below. For now, let's get started. When you first log in, you are presented with a page where you can manage your projects. Any folders, estimates, renaming files, and inputting information about your projects can be done here. For now, let's get started and open up this drawing into the graphical takeoff area. Along the left-hand side, you can see an area where you can select what drawing you want to work on, and you can also select what items you'd like to take off from our database, but there is a much simpler way of doing this that we will get into in a moment. Likewise, you can also select any assemblies from here. This is where we create any of our breakdowns, so let's go and add a system for plugs and another one for switches, and let's go add an electrical trade. All right, down at the bottom left is an AI status area, and the automated takeoff features are not gonna be covered in this video, but another video will be made to go over this feature. At the top of the page is where we can rename a drawing and of course set our scale. On the right hand side of the page is where we have our quick item pads. Once a pad is selected, you can see all the items inside of it and how they're arranged. If you'd like to edit any of these pads, you can open them up to be edited and you can see how all the items are arranged. You can of course select any color you want and what type of tool you want to use for each item. Adding an item is of course as simple as just dragging and dropping. Once you've made any changes here, always be sure to scroll down and click Save Changes. And by the way, this is not just for items, it's also where you can add assemblies. If you'd like to create a new item pad, you can click here and create one from scratch. So now let's take off some items. If I select a plug, I can draw a box and start selecting plugs as we go. Right-clicking cancels that feature, and if I want to reselect it and draw the same plug, maybe with a different size, that's also no problem. We will add a few switches. Even though there aren't any on this drawing, let's add a few for fun so we can see what happens later. Now you can see as I took off each of these items, they were counted and quantified down in the audit trail. You can edit anything you want in the audit trail. So let's select this top item. I can see there's a quantity of five. And this input box, like most in Quantify, is actually formula driven. Now let's enter a simple formula equals 17 plus five. Click OK. And we can see down here the quantity is now changed to 22. Now that's a very simple formula, but you can enter much more complex formulas if you have a more complex takeoff to do. This audit trail can, of course, be copied or exported to Excel and to PDF. Next, let's take a look at the summary screen. Here we can see all the items and the values that we've taken off from the previous screen. And if we adjust any values, let's make the unit price of plugs $10 and the price of the switch to $15 we can see that they are now highlighted in yellow. This tells you that they have been changed manually. Now, if we right click on this menu, we can summarize and you have lots of different ways of summarizing this screen. Let's summarize by drawing. And we can see we can drop down. We have one drawing. Here is our items. If we choose to summarize by system, we can see both of our systems and have the drop downs with all the information included there. The summary screen is, of course, able to be exported into both Excel and PDF for you. Now let's take a look at the closeout screen. We can choose how we want to export this. So let's choose system for now and save this file and open it. And here we see our export document. You can see that the items have been brought over and entered automatically into here, and you can add in all the extra items you need for your costing process for closing out a drawing. 
Down in the tab section, we also have a breakdown for you and a stats page for your project. Finally, we're going to go to the admin page where we can see how many licenses we have, when they expire, who our users are, who is active, and where we can also add more users. Now, it's good to note that we offer pooled licensing, which means you can add an unlimited number of users to your system, and you're only charged for the number of licenses that you subscribe to. That's it for this quick demo of Padabid Quantify. There will be a much more detailed video available that you can follow along step by step in the description below. Please enjoy using Quantify, and if you have any questions, you can always reach out by clicking the help icon in the upper right hand corner.